Hi Anna, my name is Cathy, I'm nearly 55, I come from Keighley, Bradford, West Yorkshire and I've just recently semi-retired as a teaching assistant. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for creating this platform, it's been absolutely amazing. This is my third attempt and um, I've really been spurred on by the other people that have sent their videos in. They've been fantastic and it, it's so valuable and it's so good to get an insight into everybody else's truths. It's it's really, really reassuring, so thank you so much. Um, I've known for a long time that things weren't right and um, there's so much I could say, but um, what I would like to do is um, to share a, po a poem with you and I've had this poem, I used to have this poem stuck up on my kitchen wall in 2002 and I used to read it and I used to think yeah what's it all about and you know when is this referring to and um, I would say it definitely refers to now so let me share it with you a message from the Hopai elders we have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour and there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in the right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside yourself for the leader. This could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those that will be afraid. They will try and hold on to the shore, they will feel they are being torn apart and they will suffer greatly. No, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore and push off into the river. Keep your eyes open and our head above the water. See who is there with you and celebrate. At this time in history we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Okay, so that's the elders of Pi Nation, Arizona. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, actually, there was another poem. It's so funny, there was another poem right next to it. And... Um, I think this applies too, especially because I ain't going to wear the mask. I think it's BS. So, the surest defence against evil is extreme individualism, originality of thinking, whimsicality, even eccentricity. Evil is a sucker for solidarity. It always goes for big numbers, for confident granite, for ideological purity, for drilled armies, armies and balance sheets. And that's Joseph Brodesky. The government is not your friend, okay? You need to realise that. You really, really do. The government is not your friend. It never has been and it never will be. Please, people, please wake up. We are many. They are few. Peace, peace, peace. Infinite love to every one of you. Love, love, love. <laughs>